my friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. It is time for us to save. We are on week 22 of our annual savings challenge and um, changing out some things because we're just in a different season. So um, I had been saving using this summer brunch savings challenge and I was putting it towards self-care. I'm still going to be doing self-care, but I'm emptying out my self-care because it's my birthday month and I am going to enjoy my birthday with the money that I saved um, in both my birthday fund and my self-care fund. So not going to be doing the summer brunch um, anymore. May bring it back at another time. The other thing is um, I was doing the candy jar challenge. I did it for a couple of months. Um Closing this out, that went towards the home fund, and I'm going to be doing something different this month. I like to change it up because it helps to keep it fresh, which keeps me motivated. So I am um, going to do this Budget Mom Savings Challenge, which is called Save the Circle. And um, this is actually the one that they did in the Budget Mom Group, Savings Challenge Group, um, in May. And I didn't do it in May because I was still doing my other ones. But I'm going to do it um, this month for June. This will go towards my home fund. And I, <laughs> listen, nobody was going to cut these circles out, right? So um, I doubled up on the number of circles. I think there were maybe 28 on the page. So I think I have 56. Um, I figured out how to import this into Silhouette. I put some sticker paper on top of some cardstock and cut it out and voila we have circles because I was not going to cut all these circles I wasn't I wasn't going to do it we weren't going to be doing the savings challenge because that was never going to happen um and then the perfectionist of me has perfect little circles for each one and we can use the savings challenge again in the future because we just have to pull out our little already cut circles anyway that was more information than y'all needed to know so I am doing the Save the Challenge. The way that I'm going to do this is since I film savings every Friday, um, I am going to do, um, we end on a Friday. So I am going to do, um, Hold, hold, please. I don't want to do a head or behind. I think I want to do a head. So I'm going to pull out my colors for June 1st through the 8th. And then I will pull again for the 9th through the 15th, 16th through the 22nd, and 23rd through the 30th, which would be the end of the month. Um, and that way we're done at the end of the month. Okay, so I'm going to pull uh, eight circles. And so the way that this works, it has a little key of what color you pull is worth a specific denomination. So yellow is two, blue is three, green is four, pink is five, orange is six, red is seven, brown is eight. And of course you can modify, you can pull two colors a day, you can not do one every day, maybe do so many a week. I'm just going to do one for each day and hope for the best. <laughs> so let's do that now. So we're going to pull out um, eight of these. So we've got a yellow and a brown. So that is going to be two dollars and eight dollars. And then I've got a couple. Okay, so we've got a pink of five. We've got a green that's four. We've got a red that's seven, and an orange is six. And I'm going to do two more. Okay, so we've got another red and another green. 
So red is seven, green is four. And I'm gonna take the ones that I already pulled and I'm gonna set them aside. Well, not too far so I can find them later. Um, so I don't have to ever cut them again. Okay, so let's add this up. So we have two, eight, five, four, seven, six, seven, and four. That is $43. So we are going to save $43 for Save the Circle for this week. Okay, um, for the zero out savings challenge, I am, um, I transferred over already $7 and one penny to zero out my account. So let's get that updated. I accidentally put the wrong sheet down. There's two of these. One is for the first 26 weeks and then the second is for the second 26 weeks. I accidentally put the second 26 weeks down when we're still in the first 26, but that is okay. Um, so today we saved 701 and we'd already saved 129.24. So adding our 701 to that year to date, we've saved 136.25 from the zero out savings challenge. So that is done. No $5 bills. Actually, no, that's not true. Um, I don't have my wallet in here with me, but I know I have one. I got one today when I purchased PD's medicine. So um, we do have a $5 bill. Um, so let's update that back here. So year to date, we have saved $180 in $5 bills. Okay. Um, so let's do Saveopoly. We have not played Saveopoly in a while. Um, we're probably going to pass go. We are currently sitting right here and we're moving this direction on the board. So, there's an eight. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, which I landed on the pay ahead. I don't do the pay ahead. I don't even know where those cards are at. Um, so we're just going to save the $40 for passing go. There are some little cards that went with the game and I don't know what I do with them, which is why I'm trying to keep up with these little circles because it's a very good chance we could lose them before the month is over. Okay. Uh, 52 week savings challenge. Um, I think we're going to skip it. I could do a small amount maybe. So for our 52 week savings challenge, my poor book is falling apart here. Um, I'm going to do... I'm thinking, I kind of want to do a larger amount, like this whole column is neglected. Um, okay. So, I'm going to do 35 for the 52-week savings challenge. 
and I am not going to do anything for the 23 and 2023. That's my self-care. And like I said, I just, um, I'm getting ready to empty that for our little vacation. So birthday trip. Okay. So this, this week we saved Thirty-five, forty, seven hundred one, forty-three, 40, 701, 43, and 5 for a total of 1301. Um, to recap, 52 week savings challenge, $35, and save up will $40. So that's $75 that's going to go to my home fund. 701 to the zero out savings challenge, that is um, the emergency fund. $43 for Save the Circle, which also would go to my home fund. Um, $5 to $5 bills, which is vacation fund. Total $130.01. We've already saved this month $432 from the 100 Envelope Savings Challenge. So that money was transferred over on payday to the savings account. And that is the emergency fund as well. So $130.01 plus 432 brings us to 56201 for the month. Our goal um, is going to be 750 for the month, so we are well on our way. Real quick, I want to share with you all, because um, I was looking at possibly doing a second savings challenge. I don't think I'm going to this month, though, but um, I have a couple of them. This one was from last year. I did a challenge at the end of the year with um, two different uh, influencers on Instagram. I can't remember who they are at the moment. Um, so I had saved this savings challenge from that. Then um, I printed a couple of savings challenges from... The Build a Bag Savings Challenge from Baddies and Budgets. So th this that you see printed out, um, I printed. Did I print this from in here? I may not have. I don't think I took it from in here. I purchased a, um, I want to say, a, a, I guess, online savings challenge book as well. Um, so I don't have a hard copy to show you and that's where I got them from, but they're still from baddies and budgets. So I, I might start doing this self-care challenge when I, when I'm ready to pick back up a self-care challenge again. I love this one. Um, and she, the way she had it set up, I think you have like different intervals. So you can do 100, 300, 500. Um, then the other thing was this luxury challenge. So like, I want a Louis bag. I haven't wanted one for years. I can't bring myself to pay for it. So I was thinking of maybe saving for it, but then I'm looking at these little numbers and this is kind of hot. These are high, high numbers. Anyways, um, and I might just buy a knockoff. I don't know. But I say all that to say, I'm probably going to wait to see, um, maybe September-ish, like where we end up at with this whole student loan thing. Um, I already know we're going to have to pay for them. So when I say where we end up, like how much of my budget is this going to cost me is what I'm trying to figure out. So um, I've got my, my different savings challenges here on standby. And um, this is the sense to savings book. And so I'm ready to start saving. I think this, this one's in here as well. Yeah, so... From the sense and savings, this one. Um, I'm ready to start saving, but I also have debt I want to pay off, and I also don't know how the student loans are going to impact my budget exactly. So, I have, there's too many things up in the air for me to start a large savings challenge like the luxury savings challenge until I have a better grasp on where we are going to end up at. So that is our savings for this week. I just wanted to share those additional savings challenges with you that I'm looking at um, possibly implementing. I don't think I will implement anything mid-month, but I might, particularly self-care, just to get back on track with it. 
Um, but for now, this is where we're at. So 130.01 saved this week and 562.01 for the month of June. Not a bad start on June 2nd. Let me know if you're saving and if you're using any savings challenges. I always love to hear about any new savings challenges or savings challenges or books that you find, um, I will buy them all and share them with you all to show you what's out there because I love savings challenges. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.